Hey there magic one, just before we get into your tarot reading I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot reading for July 11th to the 17th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Sag. I've got three uh, recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. I've got a selection of oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Now, um, I've got a really, I got a really strong message when I was pulling the cards. I just took a little pause and looked up um, when the next full moon was. Okay. And interestingly, the full moon is on July the 14th, bang in the middle of this reading cycle. Okay, so uh, I'll tell you what I'm feeling. I've got adjustments are required and then the moon is your lead tarot energy. So there is some kind of change, adjustment, intervention I feel that you need to make around or before the 14th of July. It feels like a really pivotal date. Um, that should you take this adjustment, okay, you can change the turn of events here, Wheel of Fortune, change the outcome away from this Five of Pentacles. So we'll get to, to what that may be about, but that is the message that is coming through for me. We've got Find Your Sacred Flow and gratitude again. So gratitude obviously is a really um, useful tool for just paying, um, you know, gratitude to, to what you have um, rather than what you don't have, okay. Um, it also feels that you have the opportunity to move into a new flow, okay, to get out of maybe a hardship. Um, there might be a situation that you have been about to move forward with or invest in or something to do with uh, coming into a network or a group of people that requires change. That's what I'm feeling because I've got the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords in the recent past. So the Knight of Wands is your energy, Saji. And it feels like you have become recently part of something, Three of Pentacles. Now, um, the Three of Pentacles can be, it can be about investing, learning, development, um, joining forces. It can also be about Building plans, okay, buying off the plans, buying off the plans, laying a foundation, um, building a home, renovations, something in that realm, or it can also be to do with building yourself, like signing up for some kind of self-development or something like that, but it sits next to the Seven of Swords, right? There feels like there is an element of this, I mean, there's levels with the Seven of Swords, right from deception, betrayal, and sabotage through to it just won't quite work out in your favor and you need to pay attention, right? Be the queen of swords, pay attention to the fine print and to exactly what you're getting yourself into here. The queen of swords is really um, about fair play. So it just feels like there's an element where things aren't fair and there needs to be some kind of adjustment, 
um, before the 14th of July, okay? Otherwise, Five of Pentacles, and it's, you know, no one likes doing these readings that kind of comes out this way, but this is just what's coming through, so I'm saying it. The Five of Pentacles can be an energy of loss or where we kind of end up on the outside, the outskirts, or it could even be a timing thing. Like you could be trying to get something done in your house and just because of the timing, then it, there's a scenario where you're left without somewhere to stay for a while and it's just not in your favor and it's just not fair and it could have been mitigated. So I'm not saying that it's going to like all financially fall down around you, but it just feels like the timing, okay, Wheel of Fortune, the timing isn't quite right. Okay, so just be mindful of that. So there could be the timing to move forward, Knight of Wands, could lead to some kind of loss. So with the Queen of Swords here, I mean, the Queen of Swords links to um, justice, right? Justice is the Libra card for me in the Major Arcana. And Justice is all about change, adjustment, modification to bring those karmic scales back into balance. Now, the Queen of Swords is also about vision and clarity, seeing clearly, um, hindsight, foresight, looking at the details, um, looking for fair play. Like you can see the scale, she's big compared to these trees. She is seeing the bigger picture and she's using that information to reassess, reevaluate, to transform. The situation because we want a celebration here not a commiseration right and with the two threes you know if people here there could be you know multiple parties there could be a party that's entered into this that might be trying to sway things in their direction so be mindful of the circumstances and be mindful of the people and be mindful of the intentions because the five of pentacles can be about experiencing lack or being ousted in some in some way okay the the two of swords is a crossroads energy so I feel like there's going to be uh, a, a, a deci decision point right decision point a crossroads where it's like okay we kind of thought that we had everything tied up here but now we're heading in a different direction or we're weighing up our options okay now the eight of swords is the energy of overthinking it of the mental overwhelm the moon which I haven't really adjust, uh, addressed yet actually I got so excited about the message coming through is um you know is really the energy of intuition of feeling through of undercurrent so the way to navigate this is to feel behind the words okay what's the message behind the words now let's not allow our thoughts the scripts that run through our head the stories to be the blinding factor to be the binding factor to be the entrapment the moon also um, can talk about people being having two faces two sides um, secrets uh, undercurrents you know it can be that so we really need to make sure that we're paying attention to the shadow, the shadowy behavior. That is the moon, okay? And of course, it is, it's pointing to that full moon date as well. Links to Cancer Pisces. For me, I also have Libra with the Queen of Swords. And of course, I've got your energy here, Sagittarius. So it feels like you have the ability to, to create like an, an intervention here to change the energy, Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is a lucky twist of events. It is a change of luck. It is changing the direction into the direction of the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is, uh, you know, the wish fulfillment, the contentment, the satisfaction, the happy outcome that we can that we can actually arrive at. Should we pay attention to the undercurrents and the intuition? So this could be a life lesson in you know, really being mindful here, really seeing what's going on. The Queen of Swords could actually be, you know, evidence or truth revealed coming out that has you, you know, need to re-evaluate re here. Two characters with blindfolds on need eyes wide open, but also need to cut out the clutter so that you can really feel and intuit what's going on here. And of course, Wheel of Fortune is a card of destiny and karma. It feels like karmic lessons being being dealt here. Strength, Leo. In fact, I'll have to say that the Leo energy, uh, sorry, the Leo reading shared uh, energy with this reading. So if you do have Leo in your chart, please go and watch that as well. Because I've actually just pulled 
two cards of Leo. Well, the strength card came out and the sun is at the bottom. Now, I like this for a few different reasons. Um, okay, one, you might be dealing with a Leo. That could actually be the other party here. So the strength card also is um, having the strength and courage. It's also about not letting ego or pride get in your way and sometimes having to you know, let that go, step away from that in order to make a better decision. This can be like needing to have a, the backbone to stand up to someone, to stand up to something. But it also has like the, the higher self and the light and the beast, okay? So it's like we need to listen to the higher self, okay? Not, not get sucked in to ego-related desires. The sun says that you can overcome this. You can overcome this challenge. And... This is a huge card of positive new direction. It is this, the finding the sacred flow. It is overcoming the challenge and moving in a very, very positive direction. So interesting message come through here, Saji. It feels like you have the chance to mit mitigate divine events here to really turn things around. If you like, be mindful and pay attention and maybe make some different choices, um, there is a lot of overlap between this and the Leo reading and um, the energies can be vice versa. So do check that one out as well. But I really want you to be, you know, heading towards the, the Nine of Cups and celebrating, you know, this beautiful energy of happiness and contentment because you follow that intuition and, and made the right decisions here. So that's your reading, Saji. I am wishing you all the best with it and um, do take care and be mindful. Uh, drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and love seeing how these are playing out in your life. Um, hit subscribe. That is the energy balance between us. It lets you know when I post new videos and it supports the channel. So I'd be very grateful for that. That's my gratitude again. And I'll see you back here for another one next week. Do take care, Sag. Bye for now.